Hello everyone, here is the answer to exercise 3 of unit 1 in AC201. So in this exercise, all we need to do is we need to take the company's adjusted trial balance and prepare three financial statements from that trial balance. We have to prepare the income statement, the statement of retained earnings, and the balance sheet for the month ended December 31st, 2017 for Emerald Isle Incorporated. Like all financial statements, there's an order you have to do them in because you're going to have to get numbers from one statement to carry it over to the next. So in this case, we're going to have to do the income statement first to find our net income because that number is going to get carried over to our statement of retained earnings. And we're going to have to prepare that secondly because we're going to need our ending retained earnings to go over to our balance sheet. So Emerald Isle Incorporated, someone else on our staff has already prepared our adjusted trial balance, thankfully. And as we can see, our debits equal our credits. We have debit credit equality, so we're ready to go and move on to prepare our financial statements. The first one that we're going to have to prepare is our income statement. Well, what accounts go on an income statement? Revenues and expenses, because revenues minus expenses equals income. So all we need to do is carry those numbers over from our, our adjusted trial balance to our income statement. We had $61,500 in service revenue according to our adjusted trial balance. We had six separate expenses with the amounts listed here and in total those expenses added up $26,700. What's net income? It's revenue minus expenses. So $61,500 minus $26,700 is going to give us net income of $34,800 which is the number that we're going to need when we make our statement of retained earnings. So we start our statement of retained earnings with our balance of retained earnings before we add net income, which we can find on our adjusted trial balance. It was $3,500. So we're going to assume that was the retained earnings at the beginning of the year. We're going to add to that the amount of income that we had during the period uh, on our statement of retained earnings. So that's the $34,800 we just found in our income statement. And those two numbers added together means Emerald Isle Incorporated is going to end the period with $38,300 in retained earnings at period's end. And now that we have our statement of retained earnings complete, we can prepare our balance sheet. And it's pretty easy. What goes on the balance sheet? Assets, liabilities, and equity. So if our adjusted trial balance is prepared correctly in the proper order, that's going to be the top. We're going to have our assets, our liabilities, and our equity. We're going to carry all of those numbers over into the following format that we have here. Uh, as you can see, I'm not going to worry about classes or anything for this example. Uh, only reason we're going to need two columns is because we have an asset account equipment that has a contra asset tied to it, which is our accumulated depreciation. If that equipment costs 60000 and our accumulated depreciation it was 35000 well, now it has a book value of 25000 So we're just going to use that extra column to subtotal that up. But as we go through, <coughs> we find that we have $65,350 in assets. Our total liabilities, taken directly off of our adjusted trial balance, is 17050 And common stock would also get taken directly off the trial balance, that's $10,000. we are not going to use the trial balance value for retained earnings, however. Why? Because we need the balance that we found at the end of the statement of retained earnings, which is 38300 When we bring that number over, we add that to our $10,000 in common stock, and we come up with $48,300 in total stockholders' equity, 10000 of which was paid in from outside investors, and the other 38300 is in retained earnings, which means we generated it internally. So, does our accounting equation work? Does our assets equal our liabilities plus, liabilities plus equity? Well, yes it does. $65,350 in assets, we have $17,050 in liabilities, plus $48,300 in equity. And when we add those two together, we also get $65,350. And since our assets equal our liabilities and our stockholders' equity, our balance sheet work out, it balances. So we're done with exercise three.